Book Talk. Hey everyone, it's Shazi78 for the Rough Cuts on Sunday. Once again, I hope you all had a great week. I am trying to get warm in my very cold apartments. Ah! Today I am reviewing one of my favorite movies. I said I know I said that last week, but this is also one of my favorite movies, and that is Pillow Talk, starring Doris Day and Rock Hudson, as well as Tony Randall. It was released in 1959. Michael Gordon directed it. And what I love about this movie, this is like the quintessential romantic comedy, especially of late 50s, early 60s. There were a lot of movies that tried to be similar to this in its wit and just style. This movie is about two people who are very busy and they have to share a party line. They live in New York City, so it was at a time when more and more people were trying to get individual lines and there just weren't enough to go around. Doris Day plays a very successful independent woman who's an interior decorator and Rock Hudson plays a womanizing songwriter and the two of them have to share this telephone and every time she tries to make a call he's on there cooing some woman with a song that he sung just for her. Tu es mon inspiration Yvette a perfect combination Eileen You captured me and now I'm under your spell Marie Also like when Doris Day's character is trying to get her own private number she goes to the phone company to plea her case and she was very known at the time for being the sweet, wholesome girl next door, which is one of the reasons why she was kind of reluctant to take this role, because this was seen as a sex comedy. And so in that, they always, well, actually in most of her movies, they stress her just utter virginity and purity. And in this, you know, the guy at the phone company tells her that she has some sort of emergency, you know, being a woman that she can immediately get her own phone line, but she stresses that since she's unmarried, she doesn't ha have that kind of emergency to worry about. And so it's really funny because some of the other real-life friends of hers, such as Oscar Levant, who's the famed pianist and actor, he made a quote once saying that he knew Doris Day before she was a virgin. And so that kind of holds true in this movie. Two of them end up exchanging some dialogue on the phone about the situation. Nothing's resolved and they hate each other. But then later on they end up bumping into each other at a nightclub. She doesn't know that that is her nemesis. And he knows that that's her because her drunken date says her name. And so when he sees her, he's extremely taken with her and he wants to meet her. But she knows that, he, that she hates him. So of course like any other womanizing guy would do, he pretends to be someone else by donning this fake, really bad Texas accent and calling himself Rex Stetson. And then he of course goes and sweeps her off her feet. In this film, Doris Day's drunken date is played by Nick Adams, who actually wasn't even cast in the role. What had happened was the actor who was supposed to play his character just didn't show up. And so they knew that he was on the lot shooting something else. And so they asked him if he would come in to play the character because he's the right age. So he basically played the part cold. And he's amazing in it. He's hilarious. He's really, really good. And just really enjoyable to watch. This was actually the first of three movies that Tony Randall, Rock Hudson, Doris Day did together. They could all be found in this great collection. They have, which has um, Lover Come Back, as well as Semi No Flowers, and of course, Pillow Talk. I highly recommend anyone to get this because they're just awesome in it. I love Doris Day. She's amazing. She's absolutely amazing. Definitely watch this. The performances are great. Also, there's a scene where Tony Randall gets punched, and that's actually a real punch because the actor who hit him kind of underestimated his own strength. So Tony Randall actually did get knocked out in that scene. It's a lot of fun 
And I love the ending and the apartment. You've got to see this apartment because at this time, I'm not sure who the, the set designers were offhand, but this apartment and also Jack Lemmon's apartment in the movie Under the Yum Yum Tree, you've got to see them because it's so gadget oriented and it's just, it's awesome. Definitely check out this movie. Also, Doris Day's clothes are amazing. The designer, Jean-Louis, designed her whole wardrobe, 24 new outfits. She's also wearing half a million dollars worth of jewelry in this, and that's half a million $1959. Gorgeous jewelry. And she sings eight new songs in this movie. So definitely check it out. You won't be disappointed if you like romantic comedies. This one is a great one. So I hope you all have a great week. Yes, that this is the weekend. So I hope you have a great week. Bye. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.